Lincoln is still trying to find itself in the luxury car market, and while their products are certainly more competitive than they ever been before, the German and Japanese competition continue to run circles around them. One vehicle to help revive the Lincoln brand is the MKZ. For 2017, it sees a significant mid-cycle refresh that boasts Lincoln's new design language and more luxury features as well. So, let's go ahead and check out this all-new 2017 Lincoln MKZ. As you can see, the all new MKZ wears a new face for the Lincoln brand and I really do love it. And you can see a lot of Jaguar in the front grille and then you can also see some Audi in the headlights. Overall, it's a very classy and elegant looking design and it looks pretty good on the road. And here goes the key fob design for the all new MKZ here. Pretty high quality looking key fob. You have your unlock, your lock, your remote engine start to release your trunk and then your panic button. Now the MKZ is also based off of the Ford Fusion. They share the same platform with each other. However, they do not look alike at all. Now this color is known as the White Platinum Metallic Tri-Coat. And you also do have smart key access on all four doors of the vehicle. And on the inside, you will find a beige leather interior. Lincoln likes to call it their cappuccino leather power driver's seat with your power recline and power lumbar. You also do have these multi-contour front seats which are extremely comfortable. All right, now stepping on inside of the MKZ here. As you can see, it's a beautiful interior design. Very luxurious. What you would expect out of the Lincoln brand. And you do have push button ignition. Just put your foot on the brake and hit the button to start. Full leather wrapped steering wheel. Coming to your transmission, we have a six speed automatic transmission. You also do have a push button gear selector. Just push the button for what gear you want. And you also do have a sport mode but you can shift the vehicle manually via the paddle shifters. When you put the vehicle into reverse, this will display your rear view camera with guidance lines and trajectory. We also do have rear parking sensors and you can zoom in on the rear view camera by just pressing that button too. Pretty neat. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the lights and the hazards. All windows are fully automatic. Can pop up the hood and check out the engine bay and check out the exterior of the vehicle. Heated exterior mirrors with LED turn signal indicators and blind spot detection. Now with Lincoln's all new flagship Continental coming out pretty soon, it makes sense for the MKZ to look somewhat like the Continental with the front end of the vehicle. You have adaptive LED headlights with LED daytime running lights and turn signal indicators. You also do have front parking sensors as well. Love this front end. Now powering the MKZ here is a 245 horsepower, two liter turbocharged four cylinder that has EPA estimates of 21 in the city and 31 on the highway. Now, this isn't your only powertrain available. You can also go for a three liter supercharged V6 that produces 400 horsepower and 400 pound feet of torque. And you can go with front wheel drive or all wheel drive. And for those who are eco conscious, there's also a hybrid available with the two liter turbocharged four cylinder. Competitors of the MKZ, you have the vehicles in the front wheel drive midsize luxury sedan class. This includes the likes of the Lexus ES as well as the Cadillac XTS. Now total vehicle price for our particular MKZ is $53,000.
Like I said, EPA estimates are 21 in the city and 31 on the highway, 24 being combined. Coming to the rear of the vehicle, you have LED taillights with LED turn signal indicators, rear parking sensors, and dual exhaust tips. They haven't really changed the rear end of the vehicle, however. Of course, your basic power necessities, power windows, power mirrors, and they do power fold. And your power door locks with memory seat settings for two people, chrome interior door handles. Now, as you can see, Lincoln has created a beautiful interior with the all new MKZ here. And they certainly upgraded the build quality and materials for the 2017 model year. My biggest gripe with the outgoing model was that the build quality really wasn't up to par with the rest of the class, but that's certainly changed with this all new MKZ. You have nice soft touch materials everywhere inside of the vehicle. Um, up here on the upper door panel, mid door panel, and armrests, you'll find nice stitching everywhere too. On the dashboard, you have nice softly padded materials and then right here it's also softly padded where you might hit your knees every once in a while build quality is also much better than the 2016 mkz the plastics don't feel as flimsy and the interior trim and pieces do fit much better overall this is a really nice interior from lincoln very impressed now let's get to the steering wheel design for the mkz love the new steering wheel design language going on here love this wood accenting and then the chrome too overall it's pretty stylish and then i also do love the stitching on the airbag cover which gives it a much more premium look now coming over here this controls your little information center right there and then same with this side it controls this part of the information center you also do have your adaptive cruise control voice recognition steering mounted audio controls and your bluetooth phone controls the steering wheel also does power tilt and telescope with this button on the side right here you also do have dual cup holders, USB charging port, little storage compartment or cell phone holder. And then you also do have a soft touch center console lid, of course. All line with felt in the center console too. And it's pretty spacious. You have a USB charging port down there and a 12 volt power outlet. Visibility hasn't improved that much for the 2016 model year. Um, Glass area on the front windows is pretty good, and seeing how the windshield is pretty easy too. But when you get to rearward visibility, it can be kind of hard to see out of the MKZ. There's pretty massive blind spots, and they should have made the rear quarter window a little bit bigger. But there's not a whole lot of glass area when it comes to rearward visibility. You also do have rain sensing windshield wipers. I really love the stock too, really high quality looking there. Coming to the gauges and the instrument cluster, pretty traditional looking setup for Ford slash Lincoln and you have your inf two information centers one that's controlled by this set of buttons and then the other with these set of buttons now coming to this information center it shows you vehicle information such as your fuel economy trip info your driver assistance blind spot your um, adaptive cruise control your rear cross traffic alert pre-collision system and then other settings like your display, my key, vehicle settings, like the drive control, lighting, auto engine off, power deck lid, oil life, mirror locks. Lots of different information here for the vehicle. And then coming to that little information center, basically it shows you what radio station is playing, change your different audio source, turn by turn directions for your navigation. You also do have your phone speedometer digital speedometer and the rendering and the graphics are pretty good on these information screens I have to say now you also do have your tachometer 
that surrounds this information center. Then you have your speedometer on the right. And then right here, it also shows you your fuel gauge and then your fuel range. Coming to the climate controls here. Now, my biggest gripe with these climate controls is how small they are. However, they've been redesigned for the 2017 model year with a more premium look and feel. Now, you do have dual zone automatic climate control. Your fan speeds are with the center dial. Also shows you up on the Sync 3 infotainment system of what fan speed level you're at. And then you also do have your toggle switch for the temperatures. And then you have your recycling mode, your rear window defroster button, your front window defroster. And then down here is where you will find your ventilated front seats, heated seats, heated steering wheel. And then same with the front passenger side. And then you have your different zones right here too. Overall, pretty easy to figure out. I just wish the buttons were much bigger. Coming to the main screen here, this is the Sync 3 infotainment system. And this is the main head unit. Let's get to the home screen. This is also what you will find in Fords too. And I love it because it's user friendly and very intuitive. Now, coming to your home screen, you can configure it how you would like, but basically it shows you pretty much all you would want to know, like your navigation and then your phone device or your audio source, what radio station is playing, all that good stuff. Now coming to your audio, your different audio sources do include all of the norm, nothing too out of the ordinary. You do have AM, FM, series satellite radio, CD player, and Bluetooth streaming audio. As you can see, the responsiveness is just lightning quick. You can also control your climate functions from right here if you don't want to do it by the buttons right here. Then you also do have your phone. You can add your phone onto the system, have all of your contacts stored on here, all that good stuff. You also do have Wi-Fi hotspot. And then you also do have a digital clock up here that displays at all times your exterior temperature readout. And coming to your navigation system, it's pretty user friendly. I love how you can zoom in and out like this. It's very tablet-like, which is pretty cool. And the graphics and the rendering are okay. But don't expect to find anything like Google Earth, like how you'll find in Mercedes-Benz and Audi. It's not that advanced. But it shows all you'll want to know. And it also shows you your live traffic, all that good stuff. Then you have your apps. You have your connected mobile apps. Series Travel Link. With your Series Travel Link, it shows you movie listings, sports, uh, fuel prices, weather, ski conditions, traffic list. As you can see, there's also many different settings that you can change here. From the sound, the clock, Bluetooth phone, radio, navigation, general settings, 911 roadside assistance, display, your Wi-Fi. You also do have Android Auto on this vehicle. You can also change the ambient interior lighting, change the color of it vehicle and then you have your multi-contour front seats you also do can adjust them from right here and then you have your massage function and usually I don't like massage features in vehicles because they're very gimmicky but not in the MKZ here they do work fairly well and they're pretty useful overall love the sync 3 infotainment system like I said this is what you will also find in Ford vehicles it's very user-friendly very responsive and it's certainly one of the best infotainment systems in the business now coming up here you have your traction control off button and then you also have your auto hold right there and then you have your automatic parking your active park assist which it can parallel park and perpendicular park and then you have your parking sensors off button right there now these seats are very comfortable in the mkz here one of the most comfortable seats i've ever sat in in a lincoln or a ford um, they're just very supple and very soft they remind me of lexus a little bit and they provide really good support for the side bolstering and thigh support is excellent and i really do love the massage feature in here overall very comfortable seats from Lincoln. I'm really excited to what they're going to put in the Continental. Now the Lincoln MKZ has never really been sporty to drive. That's not really the MKZ's main purpose. However, it does provide a very supple ride quality that soaks up road bumps very well. It's very compliant over harsh roads too. And it's a very comfortable highway cruiser. Overall, if you're looking for a vehicle that 
is very comfortable to drive, then the MKZ should certainly satisfy. The steering and the handling is certainly not the MKZ's expertise, but it doesn't feel like a wallowing pillow or a yacht. It certainly feels somewhat nimble around corners and you can feel for where this vehicle is trying to go. With it being based on the Ford Fusion platform, it feels somewhat similar to the Ford Fusion in the way it drives. The 2-liter turbocharged 4-cylinder also provides enough power for the vehicle. There's no need for more power. But like I said, you can go for the more powerful 400 horsepower 3-liter supercharged V6. Alright, and I'm going to go ahead and shut it down. Let's go ahead and check out the rest of the vehicle. Build quality and materials also follow through in the rear of the MKZ. As you can see, plenty of soft touch materials back here. Very high quality. Now, rear seat space has never really been a strength for the MKZ. Um, it's a little tight back here, especially on headroom. If you're looking for the most space out of the front wheel drive midsize luxury sedan class, then go with the Lexus ES. There's plenty of space in that vehicle. Um, there's a decent amount of leg room back here, but like I said, for taller adults, it may be tight back here due to the limited headroom. You have dual mat pockets back here, rear air vents, and heated rear seats, two staged and two USB ports, as well as a house outlet, 110 volts power outlet. And then you have your wrist and armrest with your cup holders, as well as a little storage compartment. And right here you have your ski trunk pass-through. The headrests back here are also adjustable, of course. And you have LED map lights. Very nice. The seats themselves are really comfortable, however. All right. Power trunk lid. Pretty fast opening. There's a decent amount of trunk space back here in the MKZ. Full powered passenger seat with power recline and power lumbar. Low box compartment, nice and damp. Mind what felt. So the 2017 Lincoln MKZ is certainly one of the best mid-sized luxury sedans you could buy. With its stylish good looks, its fuel efficient powertrains, and its very luxurious interior. So remember that this is Cameron Birch from Cameron's Car Reviews.